Hey guys, so um, in this video, um, we're just going to do a brief uh, tutorial on uh, session security. So uh, basically, I'm going to show you guys um, how tools like Wireshark are used to actually um, gain access to another user's account through session hijacking, through um, stealing the cookie and its value. Um, we're going to prevent session hijacking through simply using session regenerate ID and uh, we're also going to look into managing our PHP INI and look through there to uh, ensure that you know we only store sessions and cookies preventing users from um, accessing a session through URL as well so um, I'm pretty sure in PHP 5.5 though that's that's already um, that's covered okay so uh, I'm just gonna briefly go through our script so I've uh, put together a nice little uh, login page um, form has username password and, and submit um, what we're gonna do at the beginning of the script and it has to be done at the beginning of the script uh, thanks John C for reminding me that um, so we're gonna start our session and then um, I'm gonna print out the session ID just so you guys can see it don't worry about these yet yeah, these are just conditionals um, once we're actually um, using or logging in so essentially what we're saying is um, if the users provide a username and password and those values are correct uh, I'm not using a database so I've just statically set the username and the password generally you have a password uh, that's a um, hash of a salted value using some algorithm so if we um, we have those values correct we're going to set some session values which is our username first name last name and then we're going to set this value I've just put this here active as true I'm going to use that flag um, to ensure that the user is logged in and then print these values out just so you can see that we're using the session okay and then uh, you'll see a nice little message and if the user is unable to log in with the correct credentials, it shows a uh, invalid message. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our page here. So right now, this is our current session. And this is going to stay our session um, for as long as, actually, it's always going to be our session as long as it's within our uh, temp folder this ID value which we'll look at shortly but so right now I'm able to log in um, if I provide it the right credentials that allows, allows us to log in now what I've done here is I've actually printed uh, the session out so we have a uh, value of the username, first name, last name, and um, active value. And we can actually use those variables to print things out. Like, hello, first name, last name, this is your username. So in the script, I was actually able to use these values, right? Okay, so um, and then we're able to log out. Now, I just wanted to, in case anyone was new uh, and haven't really used sessions before, I just wanted to cover that briefly. Now we're going to get more into the security aspect of this. So I'm using um, an add-on to Chrome. It's called Edit This Cookie, where you can actually nicely see your cookie so right now we have a cookie that is named php sesh id and its value is seven blah 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 so why is this cookie created 
and why is it named this? So in PHP INI, we have our um, our session section where it actually um, gives us these values. So it's telling us where we're to save our session, which by default I'm using MAMP. So in the applications MAMP temp PHP directory, that's where our session is going to be saved. We're telling it to use cookies and uh, this is another, this is a directive that we should always use to only use cookies. So um, as I mentioned earlier, so you can't pass any session IDs into the URL. And this is our actual uh, name of the cookie. So every time a cookie is created by session start, it's going to be named PHP session ID. Okay. Oh, we're not going to go into any of the other directives right now or parameters. So let's go ahead and um, see where the session was actually created. So applications MAMP temp PHP. So applications MAMP temp PHP. So because um, I used the logout, it actually destroyed that session. So if we go back to this page again, you'll see it's created with the exact same ID as we saw before. And also if we close the browser, it'll, um, any session, Any session variables that are stored in here will remain the same. So again, that's a um, that's another directive you can set. You can actually uh, destroy destroy the cookie after the browser is actually exited, and to destroy the session, you can get rid of the cookie as well. So we go back to this page again, and it actually creates a uh, another cookie for us. And this will continue to remain the same. Um, okay, so now if I'm someone that's trying to, let's say I log in again. And someone else is actually scanning the network. So in this case, using Fire or Wireshark, I can look at the uh, the cookies that are being sent, and I can look exactly at this value. I can say, well, okay, so I have a session ID of this value, and if the person knows how to inject the cookie into another. Uh, into their browser, they can actually use a session. So as you can see, currently logged in, the session has all these variables. And um, I'm going to use another browser uh, as an example. And in uh, Firefox, I'm actually using um, another plugin called Firebug and uh, using the cookies tab. So what I can do is, as you can see here, 
um, because I'm in another browser. It's essentially like I'm on another computer. I have a different session ID and um, it doesn't allow me to log in. But now that I have this value here, I can create a cookie another cookie called PHP sesh ID and give it the value that was given here and printable text and copy and uh, here's the value okay so I've injected that <coughs> into the browser Now, mm -hmm. because I had a, uh, a space after. So there you go. Yeah, sorry about that. I had an actual, when I uh, copied it into uh, the browser, there was an actual space. And uh, yeah, so I've injected that cookie and now I'm actually logged in as that user. And um, I can do whatever I want. Um, with this with this site okay now <clears throat> what I can do to prevent this uh, good practice in PHP is to every time I start a session I'm going to regenerate the ID Okay, so what this is going to do is if log out, uh, I have a new session ID already. Okay, and if you pay attention, while we refresh the page. Every time I send a request, I get a new session ID. Now, what's good about that is now I'm getting all these different session IDs. And as long as I'm um, moving around and clicking links, it's, it's going to be harder for the attacker to actually um, actually get onto the site okay so um, what we're also going to do is use the true directive because as you guys can see um, all these session IDs kept on piling up and um, we don't want that just keep your directory clean and uh, so now if we do a use the true directive it will create a session but now as you can see it's actually uh, killing that session and replacing it with the new okay Um, yeah, so 
Additionally, you guys can go to this link, uh, which I'll attach in the video. Um, look at the actual session configuration options. Um, you can play around with that. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, cookie path. Um, use cookies. Use only cookies. I definitely recommend uh, using these. Um, use strict mode. Use strict mode. Session ID mode. Yeah. So uh, definitely use session regenerate ID and also uh, only allow cookies because what used to happen is um, if you had the session ID you didn't have to just inject cookies into the browser you could actually do something like PHP session ID equals whatever the session ID was and that would also get you into the session um, you have to have a little bit more knowledge to actually uh, inject cookies. Uh, 